Hey guys, Freddy Grazer here with another episode of Novice Extra Universe. And in today's video, I want to like do a quick recap of what I did the last time. So yeah, last time I bought this little walk area that I could easily walk around the ravine just to see the most beauty of it, see if it's down there, what's up there. Just easy to get across without taking any fall damage, most of the time. I even have this little stairway right here. As you can see here, I'm going down a stairway which will cut through the mountain, also inside the mountain as well. And just smoothly drag my way down to the ravine area so that way I can easily get back up and get back down. The comes from what that feels. Anyway, after glorifying over that, it's time I went to look at uh, an alternate portals area. So I chose my area of secrecy and started digging. I found some coal and did some more digging. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you where it is just yet. I wanna keep that as a secret for now. So yeah, here's me just building some. I also said do a little bit of maintenance work as well. And yeah. My first point was going to be a block of amethyst shards, because I was thinking, if we got amethyst shards, we get like infinite amethyst at the other side. But wouldn't you know it, for some reason, it didn't work. Like, I was cl right clicking on the portal, and it did not work. I was wondering what was going on. So I decided to try a new material, and oak plank tends to work as well. Like, what's going on? I thought you could build any portals with any blocks. So yeah, I was kind of stumped on now. Like, after trying, I started to give up, but then eventually I started thinking, what about natural blocks? They seem to sort of work on their own. So that's exactly what I did. I went to <laughs> to go and mine out the portal area and replaced it with like oak wood. Actual oak logs, actually. And wouldn't you know it? It worked. It actually worked. I was I was surprised. I was baffled. But at the same time I was kind of a little frustrated. So yeah, only natural blocks can work. That was my, my working theory at the time. So I put away so many items in fear that I may lose them when crossing through that, through that portal. And then after that, I made my way through to see what was waiting on the other side of the portal. Yeah, it was a vast, vast empty of thinness. Yeah, it was literally like a whole void. Like, it was supposed to be an oval, but I guess it was nothing. This kind of reminds me of the first episode, like when I was like on that little small island. But you know, this gives me a great opportunity to build stuff around here. Maybe build like a cool portal area. And that's exactly what I did. So I went back and got some materials. I started bridging out. Even making some little adjustments to make it a little more safe. Just so that I don't fall off the void. And as you could, as you could probably tell, I'm building like a, a branch area. Like for every eight boxes, I'm like a new portal area. It took a lot of materials, a lot of stone, a lot of cobblestone and whatnot. But eventually, I was able to get the area finished. As you can see right here, it's very neatly organized. Every pathway leads to another portal, which will most likely be made out of natural blocks. Again, that's still my working theory. Yeah, this portal will be my home portal, the one that takes me home. And the other ones will be like any other miscellaneous portal that can take me to alternate dimensions. The first one being, of course, made out of dirt. Because it was one of the many first portals I, I remember crossing on my first day here. So I went through, and as you guys probably might remember if you actually watched the first episode, it's all just a mass darkness, like literally a gray forest. Nothing there, it's just very dark, a lot of wilted grass over there, a few trees, but other than that, it was pretty dark there. And But also out in the open as well, anyone could find it. So like any other Minecraft, I decided to go on the ground and move my portal on the ground, where it would be like a little less exposed. But here's like one issue that I, that I had with this. While moving the portal, as you can see right here, it lifts up perfectly, it's fine, you get out. It'll just look at the portal, like the other portal is destroyed upstairs. But when you try and go through it, it instead spawns another portal, destroying the old portal and destroying any of the other blocks, making it kind of useless. Like, and I was like wondering what was going on, Is this was this intended or anything? But hey, at least you got access there. But still, why was this happening? Well, I thought this, this, this would have worked. I would try this again, only to come up with the same results. So yeah, I just figured, hey, you know what, it's gonna be this day. I might as well do something with the excess dirt. And that's exactly what I did. I built myself a whole dirt hub, covering the dirt portal around the area, while also making it a little more natural, as if it's like some kind of eroded area. You know, just how this dimension is a little eroded and broken. This one feels a little broken, I would think. And, but I needed to blend it well. So after building the, the entire my hill area, I decided to place torches down so that the grass could spread. And let me tell you, it took a while, but eventually it worked out. 
as you see in this next clip, as I leave the house the, the, after a few days of resting, I went back to the Grey Forest, went up the, went those hidden dark stairs, and lo behold, yeah, it actually blends in very well. <laughs> you can, you can't definitely tell that it's not but it just, just looks like a eroded hill, kind of like this dimension, which is what they intended. And thanks to the grass, it was able to blend in perfectly for the darkness. So yeah, I call it Mr. Grass. Yeah, only people who are brave enough go around this. But other than that, they, I don't think they'll notice it much. And it just cause a problem. Also, they'll be just scattering around this dimension area. And yeah, there's literally nothing to see here. It's just like trees and the grass. With the grass, I would call it. And yeah, nothing else. It kind of reminds me of those in-between areas. I would, go, I would go in between servers. This next one, however, seems to show a little bit of promise. So this next world is made out of stone, like smooth stone, as natural stone, of course, not cobblestone or you know brick stone or anything, just natural stone. Which actually comes from theory that yeah, natural blocks totally work as portals. And so I went through the portal to discover a whole new dimension. And this one, it almost took the home, but this time the trees were different. Like if you actually t take a look at the trees, you know, notice that they're very tall, they're, they're very elegant, and the leaves as well, like, the leaves are very colorful, it's not just one color all the time, it's multiple colors, and because the trees are so high, you can easily walk through them, you won't have to bump into them every hill and then. There's bound to be more stuff, but I, this is what I can find for now, mostly because it's nighttime and I had to defend myself, and so I went back home and got out of some oak saplings. Because I had an idea of surrounding this portal of like oak trees to, to help better blend with the environment. And also because I had a bit of excess oak trees as well, so I could some spare some trees. And so using all the bones I had, I turned them all into bone meal and decided to bone meal each and every sapling into the group. And yeah, this method does work. I'm not sure it works at this front, but it really is effective. And also look at the leaves, they're so rare, they actually do help give off that autumn of atmosphere that, that I kind of dig sometimes, you know? And of course, this area does show a little more promise and a little more color, unlike the other area. As you can see right here, there's a lot more to explore, there's a lot more to see, and there's even some animals here. There's even actual animals, you know? And yeah, this actually did blend in well. Looking back at the footage, yeah, this this whole little tree area does blend in perfectly. Like, you almost can't tell that there's something in there unless you actually take a closer look at it. So it shouldn't be a problem. Just, you know, just like the other picture. And now we're back in the present. Where we're going to, you know, see the portal room for another time. In real time, you know. But before that, let's open some more rewards. Alright, so we got these stuff. Another netherite upgrade. Ooh, okay. Now we're starting to get the- ooh, quartz! Can we make a portal out of quartz? Diamond sword, okay! I got, I got wooden tools. Why? I'm not sure. Hey, we got, we got this. Oaks up and azaleas. And mangrove, okay, that's cool, we get some mangrove stuff. Ooh, steak, okay, good, we have steak. We're restocking on, on a few materials right here. Okay, so here we are, the portal area, aka the the oh, the ancient overworld. Oh, we have a lot of things to do still. There, there's there's the portal to the to the Great Forest and the Highlands. So that's normal forest, our home, the Great the Great Forest, as you all know, and the Highlands. Yeah, it looks like this area is is pretty much prospering already. So yeah, like I said, like I said, just to mention, does provide a whole new alternative. I don't know, I turn to just a bunch of trees, there's terracotta here, and clay. They yeah, a very interesting texture. And yeah, nice like us. Also these weird things, what are they? I'm not sure. But hey, that's like a whole new world of exploration. You know, unlike that, unlike the Grey Forest, which there's literally nothing. I think the only reason why people come to this area it's if they want to find trees and whatnot, and that's it. Man, okay, I need to get my torch over just for man. <laughs> it's always scary coming to this area. I don't know why. I guess if you want to, like, mine trees and whatnot, then I guess it's fine. You just gotta place your torch down and just wait for the sapphires to grow. So yeah, as the sun sets on, on another day on, on the server, 
we are sadly coming to a close around here. Dear Iced Man, I cannot get over how good this looks at night. This will literally save me wonders. Yeah, the only part I'm not sure about is, is the going in, in, inside my house part. Like, every time I exit my house, I always take some form of fall damage. Even when I'm careful, I take fall damage. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know you guys in the in the comment section down below. Like, comment, subscribe for more stuff like this. Feel free to check out my other stuff in the meantime. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye for now.